Hello beautiful people, you are welcome to another episode of my Classera series. Today I want to bring to your notice the latest release which is the Classera 4.0.4 update. Now Classera is trying to arrange things in order. So from time to time they keep moving things from one location to another. If you take a good look at uh, this latest version here, which is 4.0.4, you will see something like email notification. It's been added under general setting. But this is 4.02. When you click on general setting, you don't see search. So with this latest release, there are some settings you must uh, um, adjust as soon as possible. Now let's go to the email notifications. Every notification is really important in this update. If you want to know as an admin, Whenever a new, a new user registers on your site, you have to switch this thing from off to on. If you want to get a notification, um, a pending in, in pending post, you will also switch this on. And whenever the admin rejects a post, and you want a user to get notification, you have to switch this on. Also, when the admin publishes a post and you want the user to know, switch this on. Now, this is lovely. Email expired post. Would you like to send email to users when an expired, when ad is expired or removed? I love this because because this will enable that user to know when his or her post has expired so the user can go back uh, to uh, his or her account and uh, um, reactivate that particular ad. So this is a new uh, development because right now Placebo has the option to for, for admin to choose what happens when an ad expires, whether to remove the ad from the site, into the trash or whatever, or to just inform the user that your ad has expired so that the user can um, um, reactivate that ad again. Well, since it's new, the functionality of how this performs I will still get to find out to know how is uh, how it's been designed to work. All right, then email filter copyright. This is normal. Okay, now let's go to the ad section. Now there is something something important you need to know here. If you must have premium ads on your site, premium ads are paid ads or featured ads. And then you want a situation whereby you collect a certain amount from users who want to get the ads to the front page or um, featured areas on your site then you must turn this off i repeat this once again because it's very very important when you need to collect a uh, payment from users who want to feature their ads on your site then this thing must be turned off why because when it's turned on then clustera will look um we take whatever category you have here, pick all the ads there, 
and place them on the featured ad section or premium uh, ad slider so it means you are promoting ads from this uh, from this category here and uh, you don't get any payment from the ad, from uh, users who paste such ads so if you want your site to collect specific amount from users then always turn this off turn it off now here is another important setting here featured ads expiry if you will turn on this option then your featured ads will be removed after expiry now again you need to turn this on if not your ads will not be removed when they are expired the user's ads will not be removed when they are expired let me take you to something very very important when you come under um, remember we are under premium ads so when a user pays for for an ad what happens to the ad after the stipulated time the ad is supposed to stay on the feature in the featured area or the premium area what happened to that ad after the validity period do you want the ads to be removed after expire now let's go down to this regular ads now now regular ads expiry lifetime means regular ads don't expire now let's go down to regular ads regular ad posting on and off do you want to accept free ads on means yes okay then here it says regular ads expiry do you want your regular ads to expire lifetime means no should not expire one year means it expires after 365 days so you choose whatever you want here this is the most important thing here when ads expire do they go to the trash or just say expired now this, this is the, the game changer here he said if you will set trash when user ad will be then user ad will be moved to the trash and user will not be and user will not be able to restore that ad trash means the user has no access to that uh, um, ad anymore but if you set this ad as expired then user can restore that ad anytime remember this is for the regular ads how do you want free ads to behave after the um after the expiry date you set here so these two things work together first you must activate and say yes i need regular ads on my site then secondly you say how long do you want regular ads to expire if it's um something like one month then after one month what happens to that ad does it move to the trash so that the user will not have access to the ad again or just say expired whereby the user can log in and uh, activate that ad once more so the choice is yours also these two regular ad post limits for example if i switch this on like this it means that when a user posts up to 500 ads the user can no longer post any free ads on that one email so for user to continue posting ad the user will have to create another account or buy purchase a buy or purchase a pricing plan this section is actually the most important section in class era because this is what manages how often you make money or if you're ever going to make money from your site
But for my own case, if you have a new uh, classified ad website and you need um, um, people to post because you need actually need a, a lot of posts as a starter. So the best option for me would be to turn it off. And once it's off, this does not count anymore. Doesn't count anymore. Now for the bump ad, there's nothing new here. It's just a, a system whereby you push ad that is um is gone from the first page or an old um ad to the uh, uh, front page and uh, the top in each and uh, in the category of that spe specific ad. So like I said, this ad manager general setting and home setting is the main thing with this uh, team. And uh, I kind of like how Acera is up and doing in order to make this app become one of the best. About last year, I told you that the time will come, this team is going to be one of the best things because I like the idea behind it. I Before I choose this team, I've tried Art Forest, it was fine, nice, but because this is new, I have to go with what is trending. All right. Um, that will be all for this uh, video, but something big is coming. Now, if you take a look at this, WordPress 5.1 is available. And uh, since uh, that, that um, release, as you can see, this is WordPress 5.1. Last year, we saw the introduction of Gutenberg on uh, WordPress. That has been a game changer because right now, WordPress is no longer the normal editor we know before but right now you can work with uh, blogs and at the end of the day you have nice looking and uh, interesting site like this now in the past i used elementor to build things like this but today is no longer so. There's some um, plugins which are actually Kittenberg's plugins that that, that 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 does the work of a page builder, and um, I've been utilizing that to give my site a new look, and um, that is why you can see things like this. So I'm not using any page builder here. These are all free plugins. So you can use these plugins to achieve whatever you want to achieve without paying huge amount for page builders like Elementor, DV, and the rest. Gutenberg is actually trying to take WordPress to a level whereby page builders may have to find alternative because the rate at which the plugins are rolling out is actually encouraging. So in my upcoming videos, I will show you how to customize any page, impute whatever you want to impute, and your page will come out um, like this. Like this page now, what I'm trying to do is this. I'm trying to analyze my premium services. And I said, uh, of course, you know, we have bump ads, whereby you can push your ad. So what I did is write, try to explain what bump ads means here, so that um, if a user is interested in bumping his or her ad, he can click on bump ad, and he goes to the profile whereby he choose a particular ad which he wants to bump. And that premium service I have here is pay per post, and here I explained to users what pay per post stands for. 
and uh, if user is interested at the end of the day the user can click on post ad and uh, after that the user will now have the option of paying for that uh, particular um, ad in that in that special category now you can check my previous videos about paper post where I talked about the meaning and how to achieve this then the third one now is premium ads in this section I explain to my users what ads are what they stand to gain when they subscribe to my premium ad then also show them locations where I display premium ads on this site so like I said this are just blocks and not any page builder I use plugins designed for Kittenberg to design all these things and I, what's gonna happen is that in my upcoming series I want to show you I'm gonna bring these plugins to you and show you what and what you can achieve with those plugins I don't know what well what press is, is, is trying to do because other page readers are soon gonna run out of business I mean it because these plugins they, they, they do so much they give you the things you, you get from Elemental, DV and the rest so stay tuned stay, stay with me I will bring the, all this to you and show you how to uh, take your site to any level you want to so this is where I will stop this video see you in my next one and have a very nice day